Hello, viewers. Um, welcome to the first podcast uh, we are having in F- FYNI, uh, focusing on Young Nurses Initiative. And uh, my name is Ruth Oladde. With me today, I have Christy Adejumo. Um, so we know FYNI. FYNI is focusing on Young Nurses Initiative. It's a non-governmental organization founded by Professor Priska and um, Professor Adebayo Adejumo, uh, who are notable icons in the nursing profession. And they started this organization to give back to the nursing profession, most especially to help young nurses um, you know, through their journey uh, in the nursing profession. Right. So um, as a background, uh, Professor Prista Adejumo is a professor in nursing and um, she's uh, yeah, a professor in the University of Ibadan, uh, Nigeria. And she also uh, works you know, as a dean in the Faculty of Nursing in Chrisland University, uh, Abel Otago State. Um, also, Professor Adebayo Adejumo has a background in nursing. He actually started as a nurse. Uh, after which he went into psychology and of course he is a professor um, in psychology also in the University of Ibadan, uh, Nigeria, right? So, and we have with us today their daughter, uh, Christy Adejimo, who is uh, also a nurse and um, this is very interesting and that's part of why we brought her in today to um, share a story of why she chose nursing and um so um uh, i'll be introducing her um christy adejumo can you say hi to the audience hi everybody <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you with us today thank you so much for honoring our invitation right mm-hmm. so yeah um well it's a popular opinion, you know, or it's so common to see nurses say, especially when I was like growing up and I just started in nursing. Um, how a nurses say, Oh, my daughter or my son or my child cannot come into nursing, I'm not going to allow them to have a career in nursing because, well, um, I think people see nursing as a not so good uh profession to bring their children into at that time. Um, I wouldn't say it's the same right now anyway, because, you know, the new trend is that, ah, in fact, my, even those that don't have a child studying nursing, we say, we tell their son to marry a nurse, you know, <laughs> especially because of the Jackma uh, situation we are in now. So everybody was associated with a nurse. So, well, co- considering that, um, let's start with that. Let me just ask, why? Did you decide to come into nursing? Does it have anything to do with your mom or your dad, or was it a personal decision you chose? You, you, I mean, you made by yourself. Okay, thank you very much. So, basically, I think I cannot remove the fact of my parents, like me wanting to study in those things, because I think I kind of I just grew up in that kind of environment. I grew up in the environment of nursing. My dad was a nurse. My mom was also a nurse at the time. So, I'd take us to his office, you know. It basically was still nursing. But I was confessed at the beginning, I never wanted to study nursing. I think like in primary school, secondary school ish, I always wanted to be a pharmacy because I loved handling drugs. I just loved handling drugs. In the house, everybody, when anybody needs any problem, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, Christy. <laughs> so I always wanted to be a pharmacist. So ah, I love drugs. I love what anybody is sick. I already know the amount to give. I had no idea of anything, you know, drug those days. No, I wouldn't, but I would. I just loved it. So I entered secondary school. I had pharmacy in mind. Then when I entered SS1, I realized that, ah, <laughs> chemistry. <laughs> chemistry was like, it is a real struggle for me at the time. 
So I it made some inquiries here about pharmacy and I was told that most of what they do they chemistry. This was nearing to like when I was in ASL so you know I have to start writing um I have to start planning for my jam, my wife and also I was just trying to like juggle everything and see which one I'll later set to for. So I definitely had pharmacy in mind and I'd only been saying that from the scratch and I feel like everybody just knew because I was only going to do the drugs in the house. <laughs> but then I realized that pharmacy was a lot of chemistry. And to be honest, I didn't want to enter university and come and start struggling. I wanted to do something that comes easy for me. I don't want to spend five years just struggling with a particular course. I wanted to do something that was natural. Something I'm not saying chemistry is bad though, but personally, I just had the shoes with it. So that's when I had to think about the pharmacy. I'm like, ah, yes, I like handling drugs and all of that, prescribing drugs, knowing the dosage, the amounts, so familiarizing myself with drugs. But was, was that really going to be enough to drive me for so a certain number of years? That's when I now start back and I said, ah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do pharmacy. Then I now thought about, oh, what if you still do? This thing you like doing, which is like handling drugs, giving people drugs, but like in another dimension. Then I looked through all my courses as at the time, that was like SST already. And I looked to like, okay, which course, which of the courses or subjects or subjects at that time, yeah. Which of the subjects did I really like or like, I didn't really need to watch or put so much energy before. Yeah. And that was, that was, I love biology. I can't, I don't know. I don't know biology. I don't know. So. When I learned, I was like, okay, let me check which courses go in line with biology. Like, then I opened the list of courses then. It was obviously medicine, nursing, all of that. But personally, I never wanted to be new. I I was no. Because everybody, when you ask them, where do you want to be going when you grow up? How do they do? I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't want to do everybody. So, I think, they cross my mind. When everybody say medicine, I just need to look at them. That, ah, please count me out too. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Okay, so I knew I wasn't going to be medicine. I just cancelled it immediately. I didn't bother then putting on that. But then I now looked at the next one. I saw no thing. Then I looked. There's a there's the area of like there's an overlapping area when it comes to drugs in nursing. So that's when I now actually thought about it. Like I never crossed my mind. But then I now like fell back on the family. Like, oh, your parents are nursing. That's true. And then yes. like not a bad idea at the end of the day. So definitely, yes, my parents did contribute it because as I said, I grew up in an environment of nursing. But I wouldn't say that that's the sole reason because I also have siblings that grew up in this same environment and did not want to study nursing. So I'll just say, yes, it was a contributing factor. Let's use nursing for now. It was a contributing factor, but it was not the sole reason. I, this was something, a decision I made on my own fully. But yes, my parents gave me contributed to it oh you know um your story is kind of the opposite <laughs> of my own story because mm-hmm. i didn't want to do nothing because of the drugs i hated the smell of drugs <laughs> so i wanted to do medicine because i felt doctors don't engage they don't you know have to do the drug thing they just prescribe, you know ah. so it's so funny <laughs> yeah but anyway so let, let me just ask what was the expression or the reaction of your parents when you said oh i want to study nursing what was it like well <laughs> everybody was looking at like ah <laughs> you want to pick up the bad thing what do you look for to not suicide again out of every other available cause but you know i just explained and my friend one thing about them is that they life is easy they will not force you to do anything they just need you to stay what you want to do have your rationales well, why you are picking that and they are very supportive if, if anything so they just want they just reason with me and they add why oh fine if you can it's not and they won't one thing my dad my dad really like my dad kept saying there's no course you can study that is better than nothing so when i brought this wow he was, he was very receptive i was, I was confessed but Yes, no, there was no, everybody was okay with it. They just wanted me to have reason. Like, I'm not just coming casually. Like, do you know what you're doing? Do you know why you want to do that? And look, so everybody was fine. Okay, so, yeah, that's lovely. Right, so, um, so the next question I'm going to ask is, why did you decide to come to, like, University of Ibadan? 
to school because I know many um, children want to like stay far away from parents, you know, from their, <laughs> from where they can actually monitor them and see how you relate with friends in school or even now boyfriends, girlfriends, you know, <laughs> all those kind of things. So um, did you choose to come to UI or was it your parents' uh, decision or something? But thank you for the question. Well, personally, I, I didn't knew I was going to come to you, right? So that was never like an issue in my mind. <laughs> I didn't uh, bother myself with deliberation because I'd always known that I would come to you, right? So, you know, I just. What made you choose you, right? You, why? Why did you feel you wanted to come to you? Is there something peculiar about University of Baden? Well, I won't say there's anything peculiar, but as I said, I've always known that I was going to come to UI right from secondary school. So it was never going up for a debate. <laughs> I just knew okay. I'm coming to UI and just worked for it. Plus, of course, UI is a very reputable institution. So it was just like, I didn't even go down. Did any of it I didn't even, it all. Even I didn't even look up the people were like writing, like they were doing. Um, private universities and all. I didn't even bother myself. I just faced you at school because I knew that there has been help. So, so did any of your siblings come to UI? Oh, was all my unit, all my senior siblings that come to UI. So all your siblings came to UI as well. Yes. Yes. Oh wow. I'm just knowing that myself. I didn't know. We all came. Oh wow. Right. That's that's very interesting. Wow. That that's interesting. All right. So, I'm just going to ask again that, um, did you choosing nursing, the same profession with your parents, did it, like, um, have any influence on your relationship with your parents? You know, there's a way that when there is something you have in common with your parents, it might somehow bring you closer to them or even make you the favorite, you know, per se, among your siblings. So, did any of that happen? due to um, you choosing the rest of Badoa and loss. Well, first of all, I would say the game, my parents, they're like, mm. <laughs> they don't ask me, right? They love, like, they, they relate with every one of us differently. Like, everybody had their own area of jurisdiction. They're just putting like that. The one that is, and I hate to know Mr. Moonstones, they have what they still have in common with that, and they also relate to that. So I won't say there's any favorites at all, no. Maybe it made me closer to my mom, probably, but not really. Maybe it's made you what, sorry? I said it's, it's possible that I could have made my mom and I close. Yes, close well. Yes, close that, but. There's, it's not like you no, know, they now favor me above my sibling. Well, nothing like that. Everybody, <laughs> everybody and their own. There's no, my parents love each and everyone of us equally and in our various capacities. So there's really no big deal whether I'm doing nothing or I'm doing any of that. Was yeah, but definitely we are close. I'm close with my mom especially. It's not a function okay. of my other things are so close. So uh, it's not really a reaction of not still passive. Though we have common ground because, you know, we have, uh, I have these projects and they have a lot of knowledge about it. We get to rub mine and all of that. But I won't say it's something that is exclusive to only me just because I'm studying nursing. It's just the thing with all my people. All right. So that actually leads me to the next question, which is... um. You studying nursing and having someone, especially two parents that know a lot about the course you are studying, has it somehow helped you, you know, through your academic journey? And um, yeah, does it give you an edge compared to people who don't have someone <laughs> that can relate with their academics? Well, it if for people that know me, I don't like to even relate myself with them. That's the first thing. You wouldn't know. You actually will not know. So we can we can ask each other like this. Nothing. You won't know yeah. anything. So I don't first of all for that, maybe help or all of that. I I don't know, not really. But definitely you know sometimes people ask what's your name and then you say your name and then ah, which of them? And then, ah So then that but 
um, personally, yes, that it actually it's actually a major source of help. Because you know, in anything you are doing, it's always good to have people that have gone ahead of you and understand what you are doing, whatever it is, not even just um academics and all. So it's also it's good, definitely. It has helped me. It has helped me, yes. The other that one and I'll try it, yes. Well, like having somebody that has gone ahead of you in the profession. Some for some people is their siblings, for some people is their parents. So Yes, that definitely helped me. But I would not really now say like outside. I'm talking about like inside. You get stuck. Like maybe I have something, I have an idea in my mind exactly. They can relate. You know, you're not just talking and your parents are just looking at you like they don't have a clip. But now when I read something, they can they already see ahead. The head. They can give their contributions, which definitely helps a lot of things. Sometimes I just like this is not worth it at this point in time. Oh, don't do this, don't do this one. Go for the other one. So definitely that has helped. Yes. So I think that's answer to that question is yes, it has actually helped. All right. Okay. That's lovely. Um, okay, so let me also ask that can, can you share um maybe a particular challenge that stood out more? Um, you know, in your nursing academics. Is there a particular challenge that stood out? And um what how did your parents come in to help? Did they come in? Did you share the challenge with them? And how did they come in to help? Did something like that happen at any point? Hmm. Challenge you. Hmm. I faced a lot too. <laughs> <laughs> Until I finished before, I will even like want to share most of all of that. But well, I think one one major one that I think I can share in starting at the beginning, I had a lot of other engagement, let me put it like that for some reason. I had some other things that were academic as well that I had to do. So it was for at least my starting, like my foundation in nursing was very I it was challenging for me. Let me put it like that. It was very, it was extremely challenging. Extremely challenging. So I had to I had a rough start. Let me put it like that. But my parents were sort of understanding. Let me let me just paraphrase to that. that. So, you know, many parents, they will not be willing to listen. They're just like, why can't you do this? And she be this are your mate. Exactly. But despite the fact that I had a rough start, things didn't go really well, things didn't go as expected. My parents actually did play very big role because they ran it around me, you know, like that. They, they gave me the support I needed. Of course, every parent was still like talk. Definitely, but aside, they, they gave me the drive, the push I needed to still uh, keep going. I was able to still, despite my very rough start, very challenging, which they were aware of, but at least we were able to push through. All right, okay, so yeah, that's very, very good. I mean, I'm getting to know more things about you know, Professor Adebayo, Professor Friska, did you that we didn't know before? Um, yeah, so anyway, they've been good parents, you know, in, um, in association to other students and o- other nurses as well. So your parents have many children, it's not just you. <laughs> right. So, yeah, I, I also have an interesting question. When you came into the department of nursing UI, um, did you find it difficult to make friends, you know, knowing, especially when your classmates knew that, oh, you are the daughter of, I think Professor Priska was even the HOD, right? As at the time you came in, is that correct? Right. So did you have any difficulty having friends or relating with people just because they knew you are the daughter of their HOD? Well, as I mentioned earlier, not all of them, many of them do not know. Those that knew were those that probably had gone to secondary school with me and already knew my mom. So those were just the select few, which were actually very few. And I mentioned to you that I had a lot of like um engagements while I still started like me. So first of all, I didn't at default, I didn't want to over relate with people. So you know when people know your son, that's what they will know. Even if they don't know my son, they cannot know that. that <laughs> so I, I I didn't do a lot of interacting. Let me put it like that. I I I took my steps from my own side to make sure that 
because I didn't want it to be like a problem for me personally. But at the end of the day, you can't really hide so many of these things. People will still get to know one way or the other, you know? Yes, so it was not a problem for me. I feel like people just had a perception of me without even getting to know me. Or like they just had this feeling in their mind. Because I know at the point, so people just used to maybe think I'm proud. Just different, different things I just used to hear about myself and I'll be worried that ah, this me. Oh no, but they didn't they didn't know me, but they just had that perception in their mind that ah, if she's the HOD is a no, but they knew very late, let me put it like that. I had gone far already before anybody could even notice or notice me. Yes, I didn't want to be noticed. I think that was the first thing for me. I didn't want to be noticed at all. So thankfully for me, you know, we are not that much like by face, you can't really judge exactly. So it was not that it was not that much of an issue for me because I kept my hands low. Let me put it like that. I need very I didn't do much of interacting. But I just wanted to just do what I need to do and go. <laughs> that was my own point of view. And I did not bother to be telling anybody. Yeah. 